I hope you're all doing well. This week I decided to repurpose an old broken clock that we had hanging around our house. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this episode. To prepare the clock, I thought I could use the clock face to paint on, so I ripped out the clock parts and tried to fill the holes in with hot glue. I couldn't sand the glue or really do anything to make it less bumpy, so I decided I would just paint over it and not worry about it. After I primed it up, the bumps really began to bother me, so I went ahead and cut out some thick fabric to use to paint on instead. I primed the fabric just like I did in the paint party video with regular house paint. As I thought about what I wanted to paint, I decided I wanted something that had meaning since the painting would be framed and I would be hanging it somewhere in the house. Growing up, I spent most summers surfing in Panama. After I married at 21 and had children soon after, for the most part, I didn't live near an ocean and I wasn't able to travel down to Panama each summer the way I did growing up. My family still lives in Panama and operates the surf camp Moro Negrito. I miss surfing, Panama, and especially my family. When my brother married a few years ago, I was able to travel down there for their wedding. We heard that a big surf swell was coming in, so my brother asked if I could take pictures of the surfing. I didn't have a waterproof camera, but I had an okay zoom lens that I could use to take photos from the boat. Trying to keep steady while the boat bobbed up and down was tricky, especially since I get motion sick pretty easily. But the funniest part was when a large fish jumped out of the water and hit me in the face and knocked my camera out of my hands. My lens got water in it and I couldn't take pictures anymore. However, I was able to get this shot of my brother surfing right before the fish kiss. It was a fun memory and my camera lens ended up being just fine. The painting turned out to have more detail than I had planned. I was going to leave sections flat and blocked out, like having the sky just be a flat gray, but then I decided to add in a few little flowers and some contrast to the sky. Usually, I like to do details in the sky before the rest of the painting, especially if I'm mixing colors to create clouds. But since I had the gray from before, it was easy to match the clouds in with the sky. I've always liked the way white looks next to blue, so I primed the inside part of the frame and painted the piece that would be visible white. I hope you enjoyed my broken clock makeover. 
If you have a broken clock, what will you paint inside of it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.